Hello, my name is Sherry and welcome back to my channel. My videos are about candle making in the candle business, but today I know it doesn't look like I'm making any candles because I'm out here in the middle of Blacklick Woods, which is a, an, a park and it has a nature trail. And I'm just gonna have a seat over here in this bench so that we can have a little conversation. Okay, so I guess you're wondering probably why I am in a park doing my videos for candles. Um, I wanted to introduce you to some fragrances that were very unusual, um, not common at all, probably get overlooked by a lot of people. Um, and you'll hear me say several times throughout this video that they're crazy fragrance oil scents, um, but they're not so crazy. They come from things like the grass, um, tree bark, um, could smell like moss, could smell like a, um, earthworms, could smell like the, the mud holes that we used to play in as children, or at least we did in the country. Um, could smell like a lot of different things, but you would never dream that these fragrances or these scents would be used to make candles for people to burn in their homes and people actually love these fragrances and especially when they are mixed with other fragrances. So I'm just going to give you a heads up with this video. Um, I do have a, a three-year-old granddaughter named Nova who has said, Nana, I want to do the movie. I want to do the movie. So I did attempt to allow Nova to be a part of my fragrance review along with Jasmine because I was going to need a little assistance with Nova. But anyway, I'm going to show just some bits and clips of her and then I'm going to finish off this fragrance re review of unusual and crazy candle fragrance scent. <laughs> okay. All right. So without further ado, um, here we go. You can meet Nova for the first time. Okay, no. Nova. Listen, okay, the camera's rolling. Now you gotta be good. Okay, look at the butterfly like I told you. And don't talk when I talk. Okay, no butterfly right now. Okay. We're not looking at the film. Okay, wait, 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 Look, okay, We're ready? Getting, On the excited. count of three, look at the butterflies right, because right. the movie's... Everyone's watching us. Yeah. Okay, all those people... Okay, put your hands down. All the people are watching us. <laughs> okay, on the count... Nana. <laughs> okay, be quiet. Hi, welcome back Hi. to my channel. <laughs> you can't talk when I talk. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I gotta get myself together. Okay, oh. I know it's warm. No, but okay. So we open up the front door and let it cool off. Okay. No, but stop it! Don't do that! Don't do that! No, for rain. Settle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta get all my last. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have two special guests with me today. I have my handy dandy assistant Jasmine. Say Hi, hey, guys. Jasmine. And we have. Dr. Nova! Nova, wave at the people. Remember we told you where the butterflies were? That's where you look. Tell them hi. Bye. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, we're sorry. We're going to try to get me this. Tell the people how old you are. Hi, Yeah. Okay. Tell them. Tell the people how old you are. Tell them, please. Look at, tell them how old you are. I'm Nova. I know you're Nova, but how old are you? I'm three. Yeah, you're three. Okay, so today we are going to today. be. Okay, I'll do the intro without her. Okay, are you ready to test the fragrances? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let you have first whiff. So hmm? the first one that we have today huh? is called. <laughs> Make it this, make it go with some good. Wait, wait, are you sure you don't want to do the intro all over? Yes. We can do it all over. Okay, okay. Right. Hey, Nova, listen, listen to me. <clears throat> you, you gotta, listen, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, okay. I'm going to let you hold this while we talk okay. to the 
while we talk to the camera. You don't take the lid off, just it. hold it. Okay. Look where the butterflies are. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, put your hands okay, out. Put your hands okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Sherry and welcome back to my channel. My videos are all about candle making and the candle business. And today I have with me Jasmine and Hi. also Nova, aka Dr. Nova, aka my granddaughter, who's three years old. So she's gonna help us test these six crazy fragrances today. Okay, Nova, are you ready to start smelling? Yeah. Okay, so let me tell the people which one this is. Okay, well, it's a little bit out of order, so we'll pick this one. Yeah. Okay, so this one is called Petrichor, and we're going to let Nova have a smell, and I want you to tell the people how you like it. Okay, ready? Yeah! <laughs> no, 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 don't no, touch no. those. Okay, no. so did you not like that one? No. You don't? Okay, can Jasmine smell it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ask her how does she like it. Oh, this oh. one smells horrible. Horrible? Well, what does it remind you of? I want to. It's my turn. Okay. Like worms on a hot rainy day. <laughs> worms? You think? Worms. Okay. So our They're purpose of cute. testing out these six crazy fragrances is because I these fragrances okay. were originally intended to be blended with other fragrances. So we are testing out. <laughs> no candy. That's it. You're, going yeah, to bed. you're not getting gummy bears. You're going to bed. Let's Mom, go to bed. I said bed. We are going to bed. I don't want to go to bed. Then stop it. <laughs> the next one is called Suede and Smoke. So we're going to get let Nova give you her honest reaction, fresh out of the bottle. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's it, Jess. <laughs> You don't like it? Let no. jam and smell it. <laughs> <laughs> smells like like a guy that's drunk at the bar. It smells like cheap axe, cologne, and sweat. All mixed together? Yeah. Okay. You got it? Okay, now we're going to move on to the next okay. one. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we did Petrichor and we did Suede and Smoke. So next on the list is Fresh Cut Grass. You know where grass is, right? Where yeah. does grass grow? Um, outside. Outside? Yeah, so you want to see if this smells like fresh cut grass? Yeah. Okay, so that's the fresh cut, cut grass. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ready, yeah. steady. Yeah. <laughs> what is good. It's good. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. does it smell like grass? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Listen to Jasmine smell it. Smell it. J Jasmine, you hold it. Oh. You like it? I don't like it. It smells just My like grass. grass. It smells exactly like fresh just cut like grass. Grass? grass? Oh, yes, mm -hmm. fresh you cut grass. It. You want to smell it one more time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Okay. The next one that we are going to try is called tomato leaf. Tomato leaf? Tomato leaf. Tomato leaf. 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 Yeah, leaf. Tomato. Yeah, tomato. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ready, steady. steady. Go. No. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. Did I like it? Mm -mm. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. Like I think it's nice. Okay. Oh, so, we're going to move on to the library. What's in the library? Where, what do we read? Fish no. library. <laughs> <laughs> we books. read books. Meat books. Okay, so this is supposed to smell like the library. So, library? Yeah, there's that one. This that one. Okay, so let's... Let's let Jasmine have a turn. Let's see. Just hold it, Jasmine. Yeah, yeah, I Please keep in mind, I will be making candles with these, mm -hmm. so we will be. Yeah, yeah. not well, not a good one. Like a library. Okay. Library. Okay. So here's the last one that we have. All of those were from Candle Science. This one is actually from the Flaming Candle, and it's called Woods and Earth. Earth. Yeah, the woods where trees are. Let's see if it smells like trees. Yeah. Okay. 
Ooh, 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 it's disgusting. <laughs> okay, let's pass it over to just another disgusting one. <laughs> Ew. Did they eat it? Mm-mm. Oh, it smells gross. Okay. Gross? Yeah. So, it's but it does juice. smell exactly like it says. So, just to let you know that Nova's sense of smell is on point, let's pass this one over to her and let her have a smell. This is another candle line that I have. And we're going to let her smell Burbies. this one. What is it? Burbies. Is it good? Yeah, it smells good. Mmm. It smells really good. Okay, tell the like people you give it a thumbs one. up. Show them your thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs up. Oh, okay. No fingers in the candles. Okay, so I'm going to go over the fragrance notes with you. And my guests are going to be taking a little break. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed meeting Nova as well as Jasmine. I honestly, I am recording this before I actually know what that editing looks like. So she just wanted to be in the uh, video so much. So what what does Anana do? But let her let her be in the video. Okay, so I'm gonna run through these relatively quick, and I'm also gonna put the fragrance notes down below for you because I don't want you to miss this information. And I want to also emphasize the reason for introducing these fragrances to you is so that you will begin to think outside of the box, so that you will start exploring maybe custom blends, custom made fragrances on your own, trying different things out, um, not just purchasing fragrance oils based on their name. Um, you're going to find that the world of sense of fragrances is amazing. There are thousands of different fragrances that you can um, explore and try out in your candles. And I think that that's going to be the key of the future. People are really looking for something different, even though they like the classics, the traditionals. Um, if you can produce something that is just really amazing and it could be mixing or blending two fragrance oils together or even three fragrance oils together i mean it's just a playground for you to be creative but i wanted to um introduce these because most of them are nature based um some of them are based on smells that are just familiar to us from places we've been or experiences that we've had. Maybe now that this is like a more of a technology world, not a lot of us have experienced the, the smell of books, but it is still an experience for many of us. And another fragrance that you can just simply explore. Okay, so let's just get right into them. Um, these may be out of order that <laughs> the review with um, Nova being in there and Jasmine, but I'm going to go through these really, really quick. So and I'll put these up on the screen, so don't worry if you can't see them because of my ring light. Sometimes my ring light is really bright, but it's it's really dark in here, depending on what time of day that I actually um, shoot my videos in here. But anyway, here we go. So this is Petrichor. So I want to just, um, and watch for these on the screen. They'll be on there. But the top notes in Petrichor is marine, green floral, cucumber. Middle note is earth. And the base is patchouli and moss. I am actually, they gave you several choices to mix this with. I am going to choose to mix this with Moonflower Nectar. So th there will be a part two to this video so that I can tell you how these candles turned out. I think for me doing all of this, it, it would just make the video too long. Okay, so moving on to number two, which is Suede and Smoke. Okay, top notes for Suede and Smoke, I should say top note is Leather, Smoke, Amiris, moss and light musk i am going to mix this with caribbean teak wood okay next up we have library um the top note on that is teak wood leather the, oh i'm sorry top top note is teak wood middle notes are <laughs> it's bad when you can't read your own handwriting. Leather and cedar. And then um, the base is Amiris, dark musk, sandalwood, and patchouli. And I am actually going to mix this with tonka and ode. Next up, we have fresco. 
fresh cut grass, okay? The top notes for this, which I was really surprised because this, I mean, when I say they nailed this fresh cut grass, they really nailed it, is uh, citrus and lemongrass. And you know, even Noah mentioned, she said, lemon, just for a second. I was like, oh, she smelled it. So it did come through. Um, the middle notes are sage and moss. And I am, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So top notes, lemon, citrus and lemongrass. Middle notes, grass and green leaves. And the base is sage and moss. And I'm going to mix this with English garden. Moving on to the next one. Tomato leaf. And when I tell you, if you have tomatoes that are on the vine, it's it just amazes me how they capture this. the The name could is the name for this tomato leaf is spot on, spot on. But now that I'm actually reading what the notes are, so the top notes are tomato leaf, lemon peel, middle notes are lemongrass thyme and basil. The base note is moss and green leaves. I'm actually going to mix this with a garden mint. Um, the options that they gave to mix this with, I wasn't quite mm, feeling a lot of them. So garden mint was my best choice that I thought I could probably get the a candle that I would like. <laughs> so you try it and you see what you like. Okay, all of these were from Candle Science. The last one is Woods and Earth, and this is actually from the Flaming Candle. Top notes, cinnamon and clove. Let me see if I get that from this. Now that I'm smelling it, the cinnamon, usually cinnamon is a really strong fragrance note, but it's not very strong in here but I do get a hint of it and definitely the clove. The middle note is floral, which I didn't really pick up. And the base is oak moss, sandalwood, and vanilla. I am going to mix this with a fragrance called persimmon, which is kind of an orangey um, fragrance. So there you have it. Um, let's see, I, I took off library. I did tell you what this is. I think they gave a good review of that. Well, Jasmine and Nova, this smells so much like an old book that has been in a cool storage section of a very old library. But now that I see what the notes are, um, teak wood, leather, cedar, amorous, dark must and sandalwood, and uh, patchouli, I, I can smell those things in it. So it's not that bad of a scent. I think our first impression was a little off. Fresh cut grass, that never changes. Suede and smoke. Um, this is a bit much for me. So definitely needs to, the leather, smoke, amorous, moss, and light musk. Definitely needs the Caribbean teak wood to make me a lover of this. This is not a real favor. But I'm sure that it's going to bring an element to this candle that I'm going to be excited to smell. And Petrichor, I don't even want to open this. I'm telling you, this smells like a bucket of earthworms and about two cups of earth with water, aka mud. So you want to try these? Um, please let me know in the comments if you ever have tried any of these or if you do, what your thoughts are behind them. Okay, so that is it. Remember, I am going to put a part two to this because I do want to make these candles and come back for a review of those candles. So, um, thank you for being patient with uh, little Noah. She tried her best, but she was quite a character if we could have stopped laughing long enough. Um, but that's it. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. And also, if you like the video, hit like down below. And I think that's it. So until next time, thanks for watching.